in this video i will discuss about how to assign a grid short grid short circuit rating so during short circuit condition the maximum fault contribution and the minimum fault contribution uh, by the power grid so uh, if there is no generator uh, connected uh, with the bus then uh, we need to uh, model in ETF uh, with the grid so this is uh, ETF software I will uh, draw one one line view first uh, the maximum maximum grid uh, fault contribution and minimum and another for minimum fault contribution so let's draw the single line diagram here is the grid Yeah. and uh, also let's select the uh, one uh, winding transformer and uh, another bus now let's connect yeah so now the grid is connected with uh, with a bus uh, through a two winding transformer but today's discussion is related to uh, the grid parameters the grid short circuit level how to define how to assign that value so let's double click here uh, okay this is two winding transformer this is bus uh, now double click here and you can uh, give the id uh, name of the grid let's say grid one maximum fault this is uh, this will contribute the maximum fault level during uh, different case study so during maximum fault case uh, contribution we will consider this grid and uh, next uh, coming to the rating suppose 110 kb or let's say or 132 kb 132 kb okay and now uh, go to the short circuit tab over here yes here you can see the three phase short circuit rating single phase short circuit rating so how to define this value so here you can see this is x by r ratio and the short circuit um, short circuit level so from the from the grid uh, from the grid um, supply uh, you can get uh, this information what will be the maximum um, maximum fault contribution from the grid and also the x y r ratio suppose here 40 kilo ampere is the maximum um, uh, fault contribution and here x by r ratio all uh, we have to mention uh, suppose uh, 30 x y r ratio 30 so now it is coming mba fault mba 9145.229 so how this is calculated automatically this is calculated automatically so well, let's check how it is being calculated let's open the calculator okay now since this is three phase system so firstly root 3 multiplied by uh, 132 kV system the voltage level 132 kV multiplied by the uh, maximum fault current that is 40 kilo ampere so it is uh, coming 9145.228 so 9, 9145.229 so this is three phase short circuit level and um, uh, this is how how the short circuit level is calculated
so nothing else let's uh, okay click okay so this grid parameter is uh, defined this is for maximum uh, fault uh, contribution we will see this study case and during case study it will be required likewise we can draw one uh, another uh, uh, grid uh, for the minimum fault contribution so let's rename this uh, grid as okay grid to and uh, minimum fault now rating the same one 132 kv and uh, next tab so short circuit rating here the minimum short minimum fault uh, contribution minimum short circuit rating we have to assign this value will be available from the power grid uh, so this is uh, suppose uh, 15 kilo ampere and expire ratio suppose 6.5 uh, or 6.45 it will not be same uh, during maximum fault contribution it will be different it was uh, considered 30 year 6.45 so it is coming minimum fault contribution this rating is coming 3429 so now let's calculate again so row 3 multiplied by 132 multiplied by minimum fault uh, current which is 15 kilo ampere so it is coming 3429.46 so this will be a uh, required during the minimum fault contribution during short circuit study gas let's uh, okay connect to, uh, with this bus through a two, uh, two winding transformer again so this is the typical diagram uh, how um, the electrical system network will be uh, connected and during uh, short circuit uh, case study this will be required during maximum fault current during minimum fault current what is the fault uh, contribution uh, so this will be required